Hey troops. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do um let's do weekly energy, which will be today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Uh tomorrow I am gonna come on. We're gonna talk about <clears throat> Venus being in Mercury. Okay. So don't don't panic, okay, because all of March is Mercury retro. All right, it's it's all good, troops. It's all good, okay. So let's just find out how weekend energy is gonna go, and we'll take it from there. <clears throat> See what we're looking at. See what we're looking at. That's way too many. Surrender, patience. I think there was one more. I didn't see it. I'm still working on my raw loves, guys. I'm still working on them. Don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be all right. I said, don't worry about a thing. We got energy. We got energy. Today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Every little thing is gonna be alright. You, we don't need to really goose. I mean, Kate, I know she's a little frustrating, but we'll leave it at that. Loose enough. Judgment, envy, okay. So you need to understand that everybody has your unique past, your challenges. It, it's your own, okay? And we got two very strong cards that talk about this, okay? I am the same as everybody else, but I am different. I have different challenges. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges, okay? So it's it's challenging energy, okay? Um but nothing to nothing to write home about, you know, it's it just it is what it is. So weekend energy, please, weekend energy. All right. Forgiving, learning. It's it's kinda separation. All right, and letting your friends help you. So I feel like I don't know, I gotta dig into this. I don't know if somebody is gonna want forgiveness or not, okay? Um, <clears throat> or if you just need to forgive yourself and, and stop judging yourself from, for situations you're in and, and stop dwelling on, you know, the challenges that you're, that are, keep coming your way. So I kind of feel like some of you with your energy is just like challenge after challenge. And it's like, Mingya, what, like, what the actual F, you know, like, will you slow down and let me catch my breath? But you also have to remember, I don't know who you're hanging out with, but when this front, when this card comes out, you know, this isn't like, hey, ask and accept support from others. That's not how this works. This, to me, has always been that <laughs> card where it's, you're hanging out with the wrong people. You're telling the wrong type of stories to the wrong people. Um, it, it's keeping you separated from your own well-being, okay? Um, and there's something going on with parents this weekend. Whether it's past, present, future, it doesn't matter. Um, it's 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 that parental conditioning. Okay, um, tell me about forgiving and learning. <clears throat> so to me, it's just it, you passing harsh judgment on yourself. Okay, so it's the nine of pence, having the confidence to own up to what it is you need to own up to, if that's the case. Okay, um, that's too many, but I want that one. It's the Queen of Chalices. Okay, so I don't know if somebody needs to apologize to the Queen of Chalice or if the Queen of Chalices has to, or if it's saying, you know, A, yeah, someone's single. Okay, but that's not the, that's not the bigger picture. The bigger picture is, you know, having confidence and compassion at the same time. Okay, because this is a lesson. And it's your lesson. Okay, so tell me about separation. So this, this is either separation from somebody else or yourself. And why you're in this separation 
you know, you're being harsh on yourself or, you know, we have arguments of energy with your friends. It, it's that type of thing. All right. So it's the Queen of Swords. So, yeah. And she was reversed. So this is somebody who's <coughs> ice cold right now. Okay, this is somebody who's not taking no no bullshit. It's got a back turn to bullshit. Some of you have your back turn to forgiving somebody or vice versa. Um, <clears throat> so, to me, it's screaming friends. Hanging out with the wrong group of friends. Having an argument with a friend. Ongoing argument with a friend. Okay, tell me about let your friends help you. And it, it's saying... You know, some of you obviously need to fix it and others you're not ready, okay? Um, and you got the strength card. So, and that was reversed. So, it, it's not having enough strength to even stand up to your friends, okay? But look at look at this energy. Like, it's like being forced back, holding, restraining yourself, okay? And it's like, here, someone's, you know, this is silence too. So, it's like not having enough energy to to even break through this. All right, so this needs to be broken through ASAP. Um, <clears throat> tell me about the strength card. Either that or you're dealing with a Leo, Gemini, Aquarius. <coughs> Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <coughs> Leo. And you got the nine of chalices, so I don't know if you're drinking too much with friends. It, you know, it, it's definitely, there's a weakness on my board that needs to be conquered, okay? Um <coughs> And it probably has a lot to do with how you're feeling about yourself right now or feeling about others. Some of you just don't want to mess with the situation. Some of you are just like, nah, I had enough. But in all reality, it's your challenge to go through. So it's like either own up to it or let it go. But if you let it go, it still needs to be shut the right way. If this talks about a friendship, I, I know that can be hard. But they almost want you to solve something here. Okay, so tell me about let your friends help you. Best advice. What's going on there? Let your friends help you. You know, because this is, is, is what happening is it's, it's stopping. It's stopping you. For those who are hanging out with the wrong people, it's, it's you're, you're hanging out with the wrong people for the, for the wrong reasons. Okay? Beyond illusion. So it's like everything's illusionary, those ION's. Okay? So it's like, <clears throat> say you're arguing with your friend, you can either hash it out or not. Okay? If you need to cut somebody out, then you need to cut somebody out. And it's okay to be in this energy. But when strength is reversed, that's having a weakness. A weakness for alcohol. A weakness for seeing the truth in something. A weakness from seeing the growth in something. Oh, uh, just a weakness of passing judgment on you or somebody else. Okay, so if you have a chance to hash it out with a girlfriend or a boyfriend, a, a friend in general, doesn't have to be intimate, guys, okay, it, it's... Try to hash it out because you're overthinking, and when you overthink, it becomes deadly in some cases, okay? It's, <clears throat> you don't want to be stuck in that energy, okay? So, tell me about this Queen of Swords reverse, <clears throat> you know, because this is somebody who's ice cold right now. This is somebody's energy that's just like, I'm not having it, you're just not having it, okay? And she was reversed to it turning in, so it, it's kind of like not having it but you have to you have to if you need to fix something if you don't need to fix something you need to go in mentally and solve this problem versus doing it physically because you need to get out of this difficult challenge where it's a challenge. Life is about challenges. So you have to push through this. Only you can get yourself out of this. Only you can turn this into positivity. Okay. Um, you do have a situation ship here where somebody has enough confidence now where they've learned from something or they're willing to forgive. Okay. But then you have somebody else who's not. So I don't know if it's separated or not. It really depends on who you are. Tell me about this queen of chalices. So somebody's ready to forgive somebody in some situation. And then, you know, others clearly are not. <clears throat> She's listening to the source. Okay. Um, so you have a couple different energies where somebody is listening to the source. Okay. Um, you have another energy where you guys are separated and there's just ice cold energy and you need to fix that yourself. Only you can get yourself out of that by turning in. Okay. Um, 
and somebody's hanging out with the wrong friends, there's also an alcohol addiction here. Okay, so it, it's kind of like if you're having conversations with them, they're not helping you. And if you, the alcohol is your friend, that's not helping you. There's too many IONs. Okay, you're not looking at things correctly. All right, so let's get your best advice for <coughs> for forgiving and learning. Unless somebody thinks they're going to get judged, you know, like I need someone's forgiveness, but I feel like they're going to judge me. Well, they're not. So whoever needs forgiveness or needs to go to somebody and ask forgiveness, whatever the case may be, is still an ice cold energy. And it doesn't help because it looks like this person may drink or hang out with the wrong people. It really just depends, you know, who's who. You know, so you got the five of earth here for forgiving and learning, okay? Fear surrounding money, wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So it's like you don't even know what work's going right now. It's like your mind's all over the place. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling left out. Um, definitely worried about your finances. But in this case, <coughs> there's somebody in particular that you should be talking to about this and asking help whether that person's around or not. It looks like the queen of chalices. So some <coughs> of you do have that one person to talk to but kind of refusing to do that. Okay. So tell me about separation. So this is you, you guys are just not, not together right now. You're kind of in a different headspace. Um, a little bit of chaos. All right. But you got the nine of water. All right. So it's a wish coming true and your concerns will fade away shortly. Okay. So whatever's happening with this particular crowd this, like I'm saying, this is all in your head. This is somebody passing their own judgment and, and being harsh. I've had this on my board, okay? Um, but this makes sense because this is Mercury. It's time for Mercury to kick in again. So it's like things that were not taken care of weeks ago are going to continue to haunt you, will continue to be here. But they're saying the outcome is great, okay? And this has to do with a love partner or love for a best friend, Okay, so the outcome's going to be good. It's looking at something in a different way. Tell me the best advice to let your friends help you. Um, to me, it just depends on what category you fall fall into there because that's that could be a tough one. All right, so you got the eight of earth <clears throat> and the page of water. So skilled work, rewarded. All right, some of you are definitely going back to school, but a new person enters your life and, and, and brings a new phase into it, you know, and, and heightened psychic abilities. So I can see that here if we're gonna if we're gonna go there with that read. But this is also saying there's somebody new about to step into your life and, and this person could possibly help get you out of the situation or just kind of slowly get you out of hanging out with the wrong people because you're stepping into hanging into somebody new. So if I'm gonna put this all together, it, it it's just it's time to let the ice cold feeling go. It's time to break the silence. It's it's time to really go within, let the chaos subside. You know, accept that this is a challenge and the best way to learn is is to challenge yourself, okay? Um, we do, we are worried about money over here. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but you would, I guess, you know? So, um, <clears throat> tell me about the five of earth real quick, five of earth. But don't worry about it. It's, it's like source will take... Source will take care of it in due time. You just got to be receptive, okay? Um, and the, the outsider was popping out, which is the same, which is the five. Somebody feels like an outsider, like somebody feels left out of a situation. But if that's the case, not that necessarily you created it yourself. It's just if you want to create something new, you have to step out of this. Someone has to be the bigger person. Tell me about the nine of water. All right, the lovers. So there's definitely a lover here. That connection is beautiful, okay? Tell me about the page of water. <clears throat> so it looks like... It looks like silence might break. Okay, there's too many. Tell me about the page of water. Um, it looks like there's... Someone's money is going to get better. Yeah, silence might break with healing, okay? And new adventure. So... It looks like the silence might break somewhere, but you gotta, someone's gotta be receptive. It looks like there's somebody that's definitely receptive more than the other, but something's gonna be like, something's gonna make you feel really good, okay? Make you feel comfortable, that comfort again, 
Okay. So you get your happy back. Um, tell me about the Nine of Cups. Because right now it's, it's reversed. So best advice for Nine of Cups. Best advice for Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. Because you need to flip that. Okay. So something, you know, something's time. But it, it's like it really just depends on your, yourself. Okay. Again, past lives and projections. The same two cards came out in that to whom it may concern. That never got uploaded. Okay. So it's like... <laughs> It's like, again, your negative Nelly, the other person's going to be Debbie Downer, okay? So, it's up to you whether or not you want to go towards this, fix this. It, it's beyond complicated, you know? It's it's not that it's beyond complicated. It, it's it's complicated to, to the point where it's like you don't see anything beyond, okay? But it's like you can swap that. And the reason why that's happening is because you're both projecting the same energy. So, it's kind of like... It's, it's visionary, okay? It's it's visionary thoughts. It's you. This is huge, ladies and gents, okay? This is it's the mirroring effect. So say you even live with somebody in your complete d bag that day, okay? So on them. Or if you guys are like so madly in love and that magnetic feeling is there, then so on them, okay? So it's it's that's how connected this situation ship is so it's like if you want to solve a problem with a friend go ahead and try because they're gonna to want to solve it too okay so I can kind of see what this is saying because it's like I've, I've had a friend that's been reaching out to me and I've been arguing with them it's not that it's like sometimes you got to be the bigger person but if you guys knew my situation you would understand why my silence is there you know what I'm saying but it's like at the same time if I'm projecting that attitude she's gonna throw it right back at me all right, do I need to get over certain things? Yep, but I will I will in due time. I'm not passing judgment. Oh, I don't think her challenge is different from mine, vice versa. So I can see how this is happening here, okay? And even friends are soulmates, okay? Even your friends, chances are you've had a past life with. It's not just lovers, ladies and gents. So it, it can be a little tricky. So if you're going to ignore, the other one's going to ignore. If you're going to reach out, the other person's probably more willing to reach out. And has she kind of been the bigger picture trying to reach out in my situation? Yep. Have I been getting back to her? Nope. <laughs> That's me. You know what I'm saying? So I can look at this in different aspects. Don't worry. I'll work things out with my friends. I always do. Okay? It's just something I need to sit with for a little while longer. So, <clears throat> but I'm not in this whole challenge energy if, if this was a lover and this was my other half yeah then that's where that challenge would would partake so sometimes it just depends on where you're at and you know if you love this person friendship lover whatever it is it, it's up to you what direction you want to go in okay you want to stay ice cold or, or do you want to start having fun again and going on adventures and, and and hitting someone up and being like road trip you know so it's like it's that type of energy well, let's go to our concert, you know, it's that, so it's, it's what you make of this, okay, so you could be having trouble with a lover and friends all at the same time, you know, it really just depends on, on who you are, you know, I don't see money being huge, again, the money thing is telling me your money is good, maybe the other one's not, I'm not really sure, but someone's finances, because it's bringing me right back to what I talked about before, with stuff won't come into fruition, until healing takes place, karma gets addressed, okay? That that situationship is not going anywhere for that group, and it's here again, okay? So that that's on you. If somebody can be a little more receptive and, and step up their game and own up to what needs to be owned up, watch how things flip real quick. So if you don't play part of that, then don't worry about it. You just keep doing your thing because I'm sure you're fine, all right? So it really just depends on, on, who's, on who's who. But... um. When it comes to, let's get your best advice with these cards. When it comes to a lover, somebody you're intimate with, let's pull on that. Your best advice for somebody you're intimate with. Someone you live with or just intimate with, all right? They want you to keep an open mind, all right? If this has to do with a, a platonic friendship, you know, love yourself first, which is basically telling me maybe somebody else, that friend doesn't really have your best interest. See what I'm saying? Because there's one that cares more about the other. In my situation, we both love each other just as much. But in this type of situation where there's drinking involved and other things involved, it's basically saying one friend's just looking out for their own well-being. If anything, they're just your wingman type thing. And it's, it's nothing more than that. So it's kind of like have enough self-respect for yourself to step out of this situation because I, th I think it's affecting the lover. 
the intimate relationship. Okay. Um, so that's weekend energy. It, you know, it doesn't look drastic or harsh. It, you know, it looks like there's compassion here. It looks like there's love here. It just looks like there's some things that need to get fixed. It looks like co the communication lines need to be opened if possible. Um, I guess it really depends on your situation. If you have absolutely nobody in your life, you're not arguing with a friend and there's no lover. It's just basically saying, please don't separate yourself and don't be harsh on yourself because that means all these feelings from past lives, it's regression, it's all this other stuff that's, why don't I have this? Why don't I have that? Get out of that. Get out of that energy real quick because that type of energy can drag you down and you don't want to take that energy into Mercury. Retro. Okay. So go have fun. All right, have fun with Mercury Retro. Show Mercury who's what situation. Okay? I love you guys. I'll see you later, Gators. Have a great uh, weekend and the rest of your day. And I'll be back. Love you guys. Bye.